Many of you I know today are facing crises and circumstances that just seem like mountains. They're overwhelming. And God gave me a special scripture for you. It's Romans 8:31. It says, What shall we say to these things? If God is for me, who can be against me? Now, it says to say it to the crisis, to the mountain. We'll usually say it to other Christians. But this tells us, Romans 8, 31, to speak it to the crisis itself. And I tell you, I have used the word for crises and mountains, and it really, really works. Now, if you're watching and you say, yeah, I'm facing some big mountains, call us. We're not going to counsel you, but we would love to pray with you and stand with you in faith that that mountain moves. And I'm telling you, I believe you and I are mountain movers. I want to share with you today some very special things just in how God has dealt with me to move mountains. Now you say, what are you wearing? Well, this is what I wear when I go to Pakistan or Muslim countries. The only thing is I have my head covered because that's really a requirement that you honor God by covering your head. So I'm wearing this just to show you what God can do in moving mountains if we just listen to the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. Some years ago, I got real hooked into praying over every nation every day. I didn't quite know how to do it, but I learned if you memorize them by continent, it's not so hard. Now, Africa <laughs> was hard because over 47 countries, plus they changed the names of them. And so every day I would pray over Africa, Europe, you know, Asia, of course, um, Americas, the Americas are easy, but some of these countries would just, ooh, be like passion and fire in my heart. And these countries often were Muslim countries. I began to have a passion for the Muslims of Pakistan, for the Muslims of Indonesia, for the Muslims of Sudan and various countries in Africa. And I didn't think anything about that, but that was the very thing God was going to use me in. And I began to feel like if we could get into Muslim countries and pray for the sick, oh, what could we see happen? And so I began to knock at the door of Pakistan. And I would say this, I love Muslims and Muslims love me. I said it all the time, all the time. Well, I didn't know any Muslims yet, but I love them because they're one-fifth of the world's population. And God opened a door for me in 1995 to go to Pakistan and to minister healing. I was so touched by what God did there. I've been there six times, and I want you to see something that is very powerful. This was my last time there and my biggest meeting. We had three nights, and the last night we had over 210 thousand people. Now you're thinking how many were Muslims? Most of them, maybe 80% were Muslim. And many unusual miracles and healings, I mean outstanding miracles and healings, and many thousands and thousands stood to receive Jesus as their personal Savior. I'm telling you, when God gives us an assignment, it's His power that works. It's not my name that heals the sick. It's the name of Jesus. And so when they see the manifestation of healing, that really turns them on. So they come, actually, this one was in Karachi, but they came from all over Pakistan because since 95, I've been there six times. Oh, wow. And I believe God is going to send me again because we need to reach the Muslims, one-fifth of the world's population are Muslim. How, what is the bridge to reach them? We say, oh, oh, the Quran is so different. What is the bridge? Healing. Because in the Quran, it says that Jesus heals the sick. So bridges, and they will work in your city. It works in my city, healing the sick among Muslims. It will work in your little town that you live in because all of us have access are we going to look the other way? Are we going to pray that they will know Jesus Christ, not only as healer, but as their personal Savior? Folks, we are called for such a time as this. 
Maryland's sixth trip to Pakistan exceeded all expectations. During three citywide healing meetings in Karachi, she shared Jesus' desire to heal people in Pakistan. Faith-filled crowds grew to over 210,000 the final night. There were thousands of miracles, blind eyes opened, deaf ears began to hear, the crippled walked, and many of the reports of healing. I want to thank all of you for coming tonight. I feel your faith. I feel you are here in faith for a miracle. Hallelujah. And I believe there's a miracle with your name on it here tonight. He can put a new bone in your body. Are you ready for your miracle? I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I send the word into every problem here. Dramatic miracle. This little child was blind from his birth. But today he has started to see in Jesus' name. Wow. Here you are, son. Here you are. Yes. And what is this? And he in the process of his healing. And he is now in the process of his healing. He is now in the process of his healing. He is now in the process of his healing. Because the Bible says they recover also. This little boy had a big tumor on his neck uh, under his face. But tonight when we all prayed, the tumor has vanished. Come, stand with me. I want you to extend your hand. Father, I pray for this little boy that your hand is on him that is his father. Yes. And I thank you, Jesus, all the days of his life he will experience your presence in Jesus' name. So I want everyone to pray with me. Say, Father, I pray for this little boy. I pray for this little boy. Say, Father, I believe that you love me. You have a wonderful plan for my life. 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 You have a divine destiny for me. Or very manzal asmani hai. Just like the woman who touched the hem of his garment. Bilkul us aurat ki tarah jisne Yesu ke libas ko chua. You had a miracle plan for her. Tune aaj mere liye mauza rakha hai. And you have a miracle plan for me. Meri zindagi mein us mauza ko pura kar. I repent of all my sins. Mere saare guna maaf kar. I invite you, Jesus, to come into my heart. I, Yesu, meri zindagi mein aa. Be Lord of my life. Meri zindagi ka kudaman ban. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sab mil kar bolay ami. Hallelujah. Now available, Maryland's latest book, Dinner with Muhammad. Maryland has always had great favor with Islamic leaders and countries, and over the past 30 years, she has built bridges of friendship with people and places no other Christian evangelist has ever dreamed of. God has miraculously opened doors to conduct record-breaking healing meetings in Muslim countries like Pakistan and Egypt with amazing results. This book will show you how Islamic government and military leaders as well as clerics have assisted Maryland and her team while in these various countries. How masses of people have responded to the Word of God and prayer on their Islamic home soil. How God has opened doors in miraculous ways allowing Maryland to conduct public events like no one else has ever been allowed. You will be encouraged and inspired by the amazing book of bridge building and friendship. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Receive this groundbreaking book for a special gift of $12. Call or click to receive this very special offer. When I say that I am you, I just want to weep at the goodness of God. I never dreamed the meeting would be that big. The first night we started with 65,000 
The next night we had 130, but honestly, even in my faith and dreams, I didn't think of 210,000 people and the thousands of people who were healed, the thousands of people who stood to receive Jesus. Oh, folks, when we see how God works, He works in process. And if we can find the bridge that bridges to these people, then you see, we can cross that bridge and lead them to Jesus. This is so key for us. So I love that, but I want to share something with you about another country that was on my heart when I would pray, and that was Egypt. Now, I had been to Egypt with my husband and with Sarah when she was a little girl, my son Michael, but we went on sightseeing things because there's so much history in Egypt. But I began to have a passion to do something in Egypt. But how could you do that? You know, this is really an Islamic country. And so many people said, oh, oh, you can't do that. For one thing, they said, Muslims don't like women. And for another thing, you know, they certainly don't like women Christians. So that just can't happen. But you know how God is? (laughs) God thinks we can do anything. And if he's calling us, he wants us to believe him to do the supernatural and not look at what we can't do or what people say, but what the word says, that all things are possible to those that believe. So I began to pray over Egypt, pray over Egypt, pray over Egypt. And before they had the crisis in the government, we went into Egypt and had a healing meeting. Now listen, in downtown Cairo, we put up a big tent This is a place where they have a school for Muslim girls to educate them. We had permission from the government. We put up a big tent for two nights and two days. Oh, it was a wonderful, wonderful time. We had over 5,000 who came each night. And then in the daytime, we never dreamed we would have 5,000 people in the daytime for leadership. And these were pastors and leaders. They came from all over Egypt. And of course, we prayed for the sick. We taught on the word of God. But at night, some of the miracles are so dramatic. And of course, most of the people there would be Islamic people. And they already believe that Jesus heals. There's that wonderful bridge. Jesus heals the sick. It says it in your Quran. And they would come and I would just teach a simple miracle of Jesus. You know, just read it from the Bible and go through the steps of faith in his name and then pray for the sick with words of knowledge. And then we had a team who would also lay hands on people. And so we saw dramatic results, dramatic results. I'm still hearing about that meeting in Egypt. Folks, one fifth of the world's population are Muslims. Do they deserve an opportunity to hear that Jesus died for their sins and arose from the dead, that he is a personal savior? They deserve to hear because God so loved the world. That includes Muslims too. Now, what they do with the knowledge is up to them. But I believe it's up to us to get the knowledge to them so they can make a choice. God wants every person to make a choice. So when I tell you about some of these countries, and I'll be sharing some more, I want to tell you this is absolutely a miraculous thing. And if we will trust God and how he loves the lost, I'm telling you, he will use us to pray. He will use us to love. He will use us to build a bridge and not burn them. We don't need to be burning bridges. Now, what I want you to do is watch this wonderful IMU of Egypt. Wow. It will just touch your heart. And you will see that even God multiplies food when it's necessary because we Uh, had the luncheon crowd when we had the daytime crowd, never dreamed we'd have 5,000. We ordered 2,500 boxes of Kentucky fried chicken and had 5,000 show up. The Egyptian Christians prayed that God would multiply it. If Jesus can multiply loaves and fish, can he multiply Kentucky fried chicken? And he did. We had enough for everyone and even passed them out to the poor. So I'm just sharing with you today Let's be bridge builders in our prayer life, in our love, and our believing God that He loves the Muslims too.
God is using Marilyn Hickey Ministries to make a dramatic impact around the world. Backed by the faithful support of our partners and friends, and after many miracle breakthroughs, Marilyn, her ministry team, and 122 travelers arrived in Cairo with great expectations, and they weren't disappointed. Our citywide healing meetings, leadership conference, and women's conference were the largest Christian events ever held in Cairo's history. More than 9,000 people heard about the love and saving grace of Jesus Christ at our healing meetings. Hundreds were healed, received salvation, and Holy Spirit baptism. 5,000 pastors and leaders attended our leadership conference, where we witnessed a modern-day loaves and fishes miracle of multiplication, and a 1,000 women came to our women's conference. Since this was an Explore Egypt group tour, we began with a cruise down the Nile River from Luxor to Aswan, with visits to some of Egypt's most impressive historical sites. But this was no ordinary four-day cruise. It was packed with dynamic Bible teaching on the names of God, as well as mentoring from Maryland. After the conclusion of the cruise, the team traveled back to Cairo for an awesome time of ministry. Their first ministry stop was in Garbage City, home to 63,000 people who pick up, sort, and recycle over 4,000 tons of garbage a day. Marilyn and the travelers walked among the people, sharing the love of God and praying for the sick. They have turned garbage into treasure. And so there are huge churches in this area. There's a hospital, there's a vocational school, all that has come out of a man who had a vision to save people, that they would know Jesus. She also held a women's conference in the first Coptic church built in Garbage City. Then the group toured the impressive cave churches, which were carved out of a mountain. Upon her arrival at the first citywide healing meeting, Marilyn was honored with a welcome gift presented only to presidents and highly esteemed dignitaries. 9,000 people attended the two healing meetings, making them the largest modern-day Christian events ever held in Cairo. These were truly interfaith meetings. In the audience were Muslims, as well as members from all the evangelical and Coptic churches in Cairo. Each night as Marilyn taught on the healing power of Jesus, hundreds accepted Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Scores of major healings occurred, including a woman who couldn't bend over for 20 years because of a crooked spine was healed. A doctor in the audience came forward to confirm her healing. A 21-year-old man, deaf in his right ear since birth, could hear again. A woman with lung cancer scheduled for another round of chemo could breathe freely and felt no more pain in her chest. A man who was healed of a heart problem on the first night joyfully came back the second night, waving the before and after reports from his doctor, confirming his heart was healed. After each healing meeting, the 122 travelers walked among the crowds, praying for the sick. Marilyn's call and anointing to minister to Christian leaders in the Muslim world was evident, as 5,000 pastors and leaders came to hear teaching on miracles for families, finances, and healing. Marilyn, her ministry team, and travelers prayed a blessing over each pastor and leader as they walked through a prayer tunnel. During the leadership conference, God performed a loaves and fishes miracle. He literally multiplied the lunches purchased to feed the pastors. It was one of the most incredible miracles anyone has ever seen. Only God could give us such favor with the churches and people of Cairo. Thank you for standing faithfully alongside Marilyn Hickey Ministries as we continue to cover the earth with the Word. for Jesus. We love Him. We honor Him. We are so excited because we get to visit Greece and Rome this fall, and we want you to come with us. When we're in Greece, we get to see Mars Hill, lots and lots of other very cool historical places. And in Rome, we get to go to the Colosseum, we get to go to the Sistine Chapel. Mom, amazing things. This is gonna be a very powerful trip. And while we are there, we are going to get to see the Pope because he comes out and gives a special address. I've never gotten to do that. I've been wow. to Rome, I don't know how many times, how special that is going to be. And when you do Bible teaching in Rome and Greece, I mean, the Bible's full of it. The book of Acts is full of it. And you will see things I've never seen in both places, right. both Rome and Greece. We have an agenda that is just shocking and wonderful. Now, what do you need to do? You need to get on the phone, get on our website, get the brochure, put it in your Bible, start praying over it, and invite others to go with you. This would be a trip of a lifetime.
Now available, Maryland's latest book, Dinner with Muhammad. Maryland has always had great favor with Islamic leaders and countries, and over the past 30 years, she has built bridges of friendship with people and places no other Christian evangelist has ever dreamed of. God has miraculously opened doors to conduct record-breaking healing meetings in Muslim countries like Pakistan and Egypt with amazing results. This book will show you how Islamic government and military leaders, as well as clerics, have assisted Maryland and her team while in these various countries. How masses of people have responded to the Word of God and prayer on their Islamic home soil. How God has opened doors in miraculous ways, allowing Maryland to conduct public events like no one else has ever been allowed. You will be encouraged and inspired by the amazing book of bridge building and friendship. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Receive this groundbreaking book for a special gift of $12. Call or click to receive this very special offer. Isn't Egypt beautiful? I just love Egypt. And I've been there so many times, but to have an opportunity like you just saw, oh, that is a miracle of miracles. And let me tell you, the healings that went on there, you just saw a little tiny, tiny bit of them. There were hundreds and hundreds of miracles and healings. And if you need healing, call us. You know, we, it's the same Jesus, and we will pray with you. We don't counsel you, but we'd love to pray with you. Now, what I want, and I believe it's the will of God, very much so, is to build bridges to the Muslims in our nation as well as around the world. They are one-fifth of the world's population, and they need to hear about Jesus so at least they can make a decision. And it's up to us to see that they hear. I've had some unusual experiences here in Denver, where I live. I've had home Bible studies with young Muslims, young adults, and some of them now are born again. You say, well, how'd you do it? Well, I started taking them to coffee, and then I had them for dinner, and then they had me for dinner. Then we began to do a Bible study. Folks, let's don't burn bridges. Let's build them. And I have some wonderful experiences to share with you in my new book, Dinner with Mohammed. I'm telling you, some of the things I share here, they will just excite you. I believe you could even get a miracle yourself from reading this book. But I don't suggest you just get one. I would get two books. Why? Because we give people candy and we make them fat. We give them flowers. They wilt. But if we give them God's Word, Dinner with Mohammed, which is God's Word in reaching the lost. And it's a surprising look had a beautiful friendship that I have had with Muslims now since 1995 to now. And so God is opening doors for me in unusual places. You say, well, you're a woman. I know. They say Muslims hate women. I know that. But I think they just love me because I've said it so long. And I think they think, oh, women are stupid. And she's an old one anyway. So they let me do everything. And the crowds, you know, we had over 5,000 people for two nights. Plus, you saw that wonderful miracle of the increase of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Isn't that awesome? Jesus can multiply loaves and fish. He can multiply Kentucky Fried Chicken. But again, you got to get the book to really get the excitement. Because how can I tell you everything here? I can't. You don't have time to listen anyway. But you can sit down and read this book. You will feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And you will have a passion to pray, not to burn a bridge, but to build a bridge, not to just live in hatred, but to live in faith and expectation that God can save anyone. If you don't think so, look in the mirror. <laughs> you know, He saved you. I look in the mirror. He saved me. I wasn't such a hot shot, I'll tell you. But look at how he loves. And he loves Muslims, and he wants them to know about his love. But how can they know? And this will give you some ideas also of how you can build a bridge in your community. Maybe you have a neighbor or maybe in a grocery store. You see these people all draped and covered and you think, well, what are they doing here? They're here for you and me to share Jesus Christ. And this book is life changing. That's why I say get the book. It has such anointing on it. And that anointing will come on you as you read it. God bless you. Get the book today. 
Now available, Maryland's latest book, Dinner with Muhammad. Marilyn has always had great favor with Islamic leaders and countries, and over the past 30 years, she has built bridges of friendship with people and places no other Christian evangelist has ever dreamed of. God has miraculously opened doors to conduct record-breaking healing meetings in Muslim countries like Pakistan and Egypt with amazing results. This book will show you how Islamic government and military leaders, as well as clerics, have assisted Marilyn and her team while in these various countries. How masses of people have responded to the Word of God and prayer on their Islamic home soil. How God has opened doors in miraculous ways, allowing Marilyn to conduct public events like no one else has ever been allowed. You will be encouraged and inspired by the amazing book of bridge building and friendship. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Receive this groundbreaking book for a special gift of $12. Call or click to receive this very special offer. Healing is the bread of the children. That's what Jesus said. And when we really read the Gospels, we see that Jesus not only died for our sins, but he also took our sicknesses, and by his stripes we are healed. Today, you may be hurting in your body. You may have afflictions, who knows what kinds, maybe arthritis, maybe you've inherited physical weaknesses, uh, maybe you have eye problems, ear problems, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, who knows what you might have, but Jesus wants you whole. And when you read New Testament, it always is constantly saying that you would be made whole. And Paul identifies it, spirit, soul, and body. So Jesus not only wants to come into your heart to make you whole in your spirit, but also whole in your mind, your emotions, and in your physical body. And I want to pray with you the promise. And I'm going to use Psalm 10720. I love this scripture. I use it on television. I use it in healing crusades. I use it on one-to-one and it works, it works, it works. It's Psalm 10720. It says, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. So put your hand on top of your head because you may have more than one. And we're going to send the word. Father, in the name of Jesus, I send the word into this body that heals it and delivers it from every destruction the devil has planned for it. In Jesus' name, I speak to you and I say, be whole. Receive your healing. Look for your healing. Don't look for your sickness and thank him for it. 